The Great British Bake Off is a massively popular show in the UK. And now there is the Great Big Art Exhibition. The Nationwide Project is calling on people to put up artworks in their windows. It is sponsored by a visual arts organization called First Sight, alongside the UK's biggest museums. And artists such as Anish Kapoor, Etel Adnan and Ai Weiwei are lending their support. First Sight director Sally Shaw now joins me. Hi there, thanks for speaking to us today. So, tell us, um, take us to the very beginning. Tell me where the idea came from. Come from. Well, um, last year in lockdown, uh, my gallery, First Sight, made some free art activity packs for people to download. Uh, and they were just stuffed full of really wonderful ideas from the best artists living and working in Britain today. And they've been accessed by about 70,000 households nationally and internationally now. So that's hundreds of thousands of people making art at home, often for the very first time. So this time around for lockdown three, sadly, uh, what we're trying to do is make the biggest art exhibition ever so that everybody at home might make an artwork and put it in their window and upload it with the hashtag the great big art exhibition 2021 just to see how many people we can get involved how much fun we can have making art and creativity and how big an exhibition can we make across the whole of the uk but to be honest let's go global let's do this around the entire world why not lovely okay how many people are involved so far a uh, lot <laughs> Really? It's Lovely. Huge. Yeah, it's huge. So um, people that we've got supporting the project include all of the major national galleries in the UK. So the National Gallery, the British Museum, the National Portrait Gallery, the Courtauld, the Wallace Collection, National Galleries Scotland, uh, all of the really big national collections across the whole of the UK have got involved and they've shared really beautiful very inspiring artworks from their collections. And the artists that are involved uh, include Anthony Gormley, Jeremy Della, uh, Sonia Boyce, uh, Etel Adnan, Ryan Gander. There's a whole host of people involved in this project now. So we're expecting it to be massive. So get ready and get involved. Okay, so for people who are watching us, who are interested and who do not know how it works, tell us how they can be a part of this uh, exhibition. It's very easy. Every two weeks, we're announcing a new theme. The first theme that we've announced with Anthony Gormley is animals. So what you do is you make an animal out of whatever material you can find at home. You take a picture of it, uh, and if it's a, a 2D artwork, you can put it up in your window to show other people in your street or in your block, wherever you happen to live. You upload it to social media with the hashtag the Great Big Art Exhibition 2021. And then you just join in that way. If you go to the First Sight website, uh, which is firstsight.uk, you can download a pack which is full of ideas for things that you can just make. And it's full of all of the artworks from the national museums that are involved to give you a little bit of inspiration. So go to the First Sight website, www.firstsight.uk, download the pack. All the instructions are in there. And all of the artists and museums that are involved have put their materials and activities into that pack. And we're adding more and more and more over the next few weeks. For the next uh, eight weeks, we'll be announcing more themes. So we've got Sonia Boyce is doing portraits for the two weeks after Anthony. We've got Colour with Anish Kapoor. We've got Humour with David Shrigley and many, many more artists coming up. So make an artwork, put it in your window, photograph it, upload it to social media and download the pack from the First Sight website. That's what you need to do to get involved. Mm -hmm. All right, Sally, I wonder why you chose to start with this theme, animals. I think it's just a very friendly theme. Uh, we've got some amazing entries already. I've just been looking at the most incredible trick chicken made out of lettuce and vegetables that somebody's done and put it back in the chicken coop with the real chickens. So it's just very funny. It's very simple. We've got some really weird and wonderful animals being made all over the country. Everyone kind of knows about animals. It's quite easy to visualize. Most people have got a pet where you can see something out of your window, there's birds, etc. So it's just a very easy starting theme. Also, it's quite easy to make an animal. Like you can just wedge any old bits and bobs from your table or your house together and you, put, you can make an animal. There's a really wonderful example on Instagram. I think it's like a giraffe. 
and it's just made of two upturned jam jars with a watering can stuck, stuck on the top. It's so basic, but it's so beautiful and so funny and charming. It's absolutely wonderful. So if you need a bit of inspiration, go to the First Sight website. You can see all of the artworks that have been made so far there. And you can also download our pack, which is full of other ideas and full of inspirations from the National Galleries of the UK. It sounds like so much fun. And it makes me think, why would something like this never happen during normal times? And why do we turn <laughs> to arts in times like this? Well, it's kind of curious, isn't it? Because uh, we're sort of resorting to art at the moment. But art for me is something that I've done since I was, you know, two. My mum taught me how to paint when I was a little girl. I've been doing art for many, many years. And it's brought me a lot of joy, a lot of solace. Uh, and it, it's kind of an escape route. So it's kind of strange that we've had to experience this terrible pandemic to kind of remember that. Uh, and I hope that maybe one outcome from this project might be that more people see art and creativity as something that's very easy to do, but actually helps enormously. I know that when I make an artwork, even if it's a shockingly terrible artwork, I don't really care. It just makes me feel good and it makes me use bits of my brain that don't often get used. And it feels like a bit of a workout for my mind. So it really is, it's like it's an important part of our well-being. So I just hope that millions of people get to experience that, get to realize it and keep doing it after this lockdown. Just keep going, keep being creative. Sally, do you think community engagement is becoming more important in art world these days? A hundred percent, one hundred percent. So the art gallery that I run, First Sight, which is in Colchester in Essex, in the southeast of England, uh, everything that we do involves the community in it. It's either inspired by uh, a challenge or a problem that communities that we live amongst are experiencing. So, for example, uh, we run a program called First Sight Holiday Fun, where for the last four years, we've turned our restaurant into a school canteen and we've provided free school meals to children during school holidays for four years. So we've now given away over six and a half thousand meals to families in the area. And what that's done is that that's brought people into the art gallery that have never been in before and would never dream of going to an art gallery and would see this weird place as something that's just not for them. But now they've come in, they've got involved in what we do, they've started making artworks, they've been involved in our activities in the gallery, and they've also started curating exhibitions with us as well. So that's just one example of how our art gallery is really trying to think about how important creativity is for finding solutions to the problems that we're experiencing now. Artists are extremely inventive and they're very sort of extreme versions of how creative and inventive you can be. But everybody is creative. And I think if we can encourage people to just in a very basic way, do a little bit more creativity at home and get more at ease with being creative, we'll start to find solutions to all sorts of things. And there'll be really imaginative, very creative solutions. And I'm also pretty confident that most of those solutions will come from young people as well, because they are the people who will live with these challenges that we're all experiencing now for the longest. And I think their minds are the most imaginative. The earlier, the younger you are, the more imaginative you are, the more, the more unlikely you are to see a cardboard box as just a cardboard box and see it as a spaceship. And in that imaginative space is where really wild thoughts happen. And those wild thoughts lead to really extraordinary ideas. If you think about the scientific community, it's all about imagination and take, taking huge leaps mm -hmm. of faith with your ideas. It's the same within the artistic community. If we, if we can encourage more of that, we're going to find some absolutely phenomenal solutions to all sorts of things that are happening all around the world. All right, Sally Shaw, it was good to have you with us today. Thanks a lot for, for telling us about your project.